hey, so I wanted to give a little update about recording WoW on the Steam Deck um, for people who are interested. So in the last video that I talked about my thoughts so far with WoW on the Steam Deck, I was generally very positive about it. Uh, those videos that I uploaded and commented over were recorded with a plugin called Decky Recorder that runs natively on the Steam Deck's SteamOS software. There are a couple issues with, with Decky Recorder, um, the number one being unreliability. And so for looking for other options, I ended up getting a capture card, which is what's recorded the video that you're watching right now with the Fury Warrior. The capture card had no issues whatsoever. Um, you know, being it's just plug and play on the Steam Deck. There wasn't any additional codecs or software that I needed to install at all. It just worked immediately. Uh, it outputted via HDMI and uh, I recorded this on my Windows PC with OBS. It looks a little bit uh, higher quality. It's not uh, cropped uh, with the black borders on the edge like the Decky Recorder is in my previous videos. Um, but there is a fundamental flaw that I think is going to prevent anybody from, for instance, streaming their Steam Deck WoW gameplay. If that's something you were interested in doing, playing WoW on the Steam Deck and streaming while you do it, you're going to have an issue with that. The reason is... And I mentioned this in my last video. Game mode and desktop mode are the two modes that the Steam Deck allows. And they are fundamentally different. And they use a different compositor uh, for both. So it doesn't matter what the word compositor means if you don't understand what that means. Uh, what it boils down to is that if you plug in an HDMI cable into the Steam Deck while you're playing in game mode the display of the Steam Deck is off. You are going to display on whatever the HDMI cable is plugged into as the output. So if it's plugged into a monitor, you're going to see it on the monitor. If it's plugged into a capture card that's routed through your PC, you're going to see it on OBS. So I'm literally playing this dungeon while holding the Steam Deck with a blank screen and looking at the OBS window on my PC and playing this. That's not going to be... A sustainable way to stream you know you could do that i guess uh but there are issues right like one is you can see on my screen uh on the target frame the power bar under the target frame is off that's because i'm using a 1440p monitor and the scaling on the steam deck that the compositor thinks the output should go to is somehow messing up lvi's configuration here and and my player frame is not supposed to be this far away from the central weak aura. So if you wanted to go back and forth between, you know, streaming with a capture card on your PC and, you know, playing casually by yourself in handheld mode, uh, maybe using Decky Recorder occasionally, you're going to have to tinker with it every single time, uh, which is a huge pain. And it, it's, it's really a breaking lack. Uh, of a feature that is going to prevent you from doing this. People do stream on the Steam Deck, but they're using it in desktop mode. They just have a, stream de a Steam Deck that is their PC, coincidentally, and they're streaming with a Linux PC. It, it, it's totally orthogonal to the fact that it's a Steam Deck. It's, it's, it's just a PC, and they're streaming it uh, in desktop mode. You can use a capture card if you want. You can stream directly because OBS can run in desktop mode. It's like any... Uh, gaming PC. So if you are in the small caveat of people who like to play WoW, you're interested in playing WoW on the Steam Deck specifically, and for whatever reason you want to capture the video, if it's for streaming while you play or for recording a video like I'm doing right now, it's just not going to work with a capture card. So you are effectively stuck know recording and uploading videos with decky recorder which is what i do and plan to continue doing uh or if you really need to stream and you want to use console port which is you know one of the main selling points of wow on the steam deck you're going to have to be looking at a monitor while you hold the controller uh which i guess you know is, is similar to a console but 
you're not going to be able to just you know play on your Steam Deck screen and it seamlessly records on the PC. So that's very unfortunate. Hopefully in a SteamOS update for game mode with the Wayland compositor, uh, they add a way to plug in an HDMI output and clone the screen, mirror the screen on your Steam Deck. I'm sure there are performance reasons for why they don't do that. Um, actually, I'm not sure why there are performance reasons for why they don't do that. Uh, you could... Hmm. I don't know enough about that to be able to comment, but it's either an oversight or there's a legitimate reason why they why they don't allow that. The fact that it exists in desktop mode makes you think that it's possibly not a performance reason. Um, but yeah, this is just a small update. It's unfortunate uh, that this is the case, but overall, I still think that if you just want to play WoW and you're interested in having a Steam Deck, it's still a thumbs up for me overall. I, it, it's working really great. I am just interested in making this content as sort of like a, a journal of my progress as I continue to learn more about playing WoW on the Steam Deck. But yeah, uh, I would say subscribe, but I, you know, I don't really care about how many subscribers I have or, or who watches these videos. Hopefully somebody gets information from this that can help them. Uh, what I plan to upload next is a... Now that I have the capture card rolling, I want to go through the experiments I did with trying to set up a usable controller configuration for Mythic Plus healing. Uh, I, you, you probably haven't seen my last videos because like eight people watched them, but I want to set up a click casting healing controller configuration with the Steam Deck where the trackpad acts as a right and left mouse click depending on whether I press on the trackpad or tap on the trackpad. Um, watch my other videos for in-depth explanation of why that's not possible right now in the way that I want it. Uh, but yeah, I plan, up, I plan on ending up uploading a couple of videos about the two configurations that are the most promising and what they both lack uh, and what could be added to allow this to happen. Also, I think it'll probably highlight us some of the major bugs in the controller configuration set up on the Steam Deck that are very annoying and have been around for, according to the forums that I've read, seven or even eight years, going back to the dawn of big picture mode. So there's not a lot of promise that those will get fixed. Uh, I won't go into that in a huge amount of depth now, um, but yeah, keep an eye on my videos because I plan on in the near future, uploading things like that. I still need to learn how to edit videos, like, you know, not just turn on OBS and narrate over them, because I'm going to have to have roll from a couple different videos, but uh, that's a fun little project that I'm giving myself. So hopefully, you know, somebody gets some information out of this. Uh, I certainly have learned a lot about the limits of the Steam Deck and playing WoW on it. Um, but you know, three or four updates or changes to the Steam Deck or how WoW works could fundamentally change how strong you can be while playing. You know, there, it's only a couple small barriers to you being able to do the highest level content that you're able to do on your PC, but on the Steam Deck. Uh, it's very, very close. And it's already there for easy to mid-level content. You know, like this heroic dungeon or time walking dungeon is is nothing. There's nothing holding me back because I'm using the Steam Deck. Um, I'm probably better on some specs on the Steam Deck than I am with a keyboard and mouse on my PC. Like I think Brewmaster is just easier to use with console port with the way that uh, your fingers are set up uh, and the trackpad that I have on the bottom right there with my trinkets and stuff is set up for Brewmaster, it's it's less awkward on the Steam Deck to play Brewmaster than it is on keyboard and mouse, in my opinion. Um, so, oh, you can also see how my big wigs is kind of messed up. It's not supposed to be uh, in the middle of the screen like that. It's some kind of scaling issue. Anyway, yeah, so this is a small update. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment. I'll, I, I'll, uh, I'll reply to probably every single one, but... Yeah, hopefully you like this and um, be on the lookout for those controller configuration videos in the future.